Good morning, family. Um, I'd love to remind you this morning of your faith and its power. Uh, I'll read from Luke chapter 8, verse 43 to 48. It says, as Jesus was on his way uh, to Jairus' house, the crowds almost crushed him. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years, but no one could heal her. She came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak and immediately her bleeding stopped. Who touched me? Jesus asked. When, when they all denied it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. In other words, many people have touched you. But Jesus said, someone touched me. I know that power has gone from me, has gone out from me. Then the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at his feet. In the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how she had instantly been healed. Then he said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. The Bible dictionary um, describes faith as trust in the person of Jesus, the truth of his teaching and the redemptive work he accomplished at Calvary. Faith is not to be confused with a mere intellectual assent to the doctrinal teachings of Christianity. In other words, knowing your Bible, though that is obviously necessary. It includes a radical and total commitment to him as the Lord of one's life. In this account, of um, the woman being healed just by a touch and just by her faith. Luke shows us um, Jesus' relational nature and how everyone was interacting with him. Everyone was around him and touching him, but they didn't feel his power. She who had faith um, was affected by his power. And you might say, Chido, I'm in a really low place right now. I'm, I really have low faith right now. I'm really struggling with my faith right now. Just before this, Luke records when they were on a boat and they were going down and, D and they were saying, Master, we're sinking. And Jesus asked, where's your faith? And he still spoke to the winds and the water and they obeyed him and it calmed down. Just after this, he gets to Jairus' house and his daughter has died. And people are crying and he says, no, she's not dead, but she's sleeping. And people laugh at him. No faith. But he grabs her by the hand. She says, my child, get up. And she lives. In little faith, in great faith, by, the nat by nature of whom you have faith in, that faith has power. And who you have faith in, Jesus Christ would love to give that power to you and to show his power in your life. Believe that this morning. Have a good day.